Inside this building is a massive loft apartment in the middle of New York City. It was a warehouse that made musical instruments. That's right. That's awesome. It was converted in 2003. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at the tub. You could fit five of you in there. Fireplace works? Yep, that's a gas fireplace. Do I get to rub this magic lamp if I buy the place? Will a genie come out and help me pay for it? I mean, I hope so. It comes with all of the light fixtures, not the furniture, but these are super beautiful. Elegant. Glorious, glamorous, and we're here to find out if it's the best loft in New York City or if you should decide not to buy it and stay home with your parents. What do you guys think about that? Bad idea? Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. And if you want to have fun here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, you could buy some paint at the paint store, rent a furnished office, and copy your keys. Or I guess you could get some brunch. There is a diner, which is called Diner. And there's a spa somewhere. Whoa, is it back here somewhere? They must have low prices. This is an absolutely amazing amazing neighborhood though, watch. Here's a cafe, another one called the Food System Revolution. East River, this looks like a hipster venue of something. Environmental education, I see like a roof patio with some stuff and a whole bunch of bicycles. Soma, I think this is a gym. Got a little outdoor snackaroo place over here. White room, that looks like a salon. Williamsburg's awesome, this is like one of the most popular places people wanna live at. You can also attend the local music studio and learn how to play more than just the radio. This area here has been co-opted by a bunch of restaurants with lots of outdoor seating. Okay, one of them's pizza. That's good. OTB. No idea what that means. I'm sure if you go inside, someone will tell you. But the best part is we did not go far to get to any of this because the building is right back over there. Okay, this looks like an outdoor plant store all fenced off in there. This is where the cool kids be hanging out and they won't let you in because they have a key and you don't. Why are the cool kids always so mean to me? They know that I was lying when I said I saw them at the local ping pod and the local farmers market. They're smart, even though they're stupid. Thanks guys. The place is pretty good. J-Man, how you doing? You know what? I used to date someone who lives in Williamsburg and then I didn't come here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. How are you? What floor are we going to? Eight. Nice, almost at the top. You guys do the same thing. Ooh, this is beautiful. It's like a hotel. You make sure you look good before you leave. Hello. How are you? I see some shoes in the corner. It was a warehouse that made musical instruments. That's right. That's awesome. It was converted in 2003. How big is this place? This is 1,900 square feet, just over. This is a three bed, two and a half bath. And how many different directions can we look out of these windows? You've got a corner unit here, so you're facing north and east. We are putting this on the market today for 2.85 million. It's so big, that almost seems... Like a deal. Yeah, right? Like I've seen 2.8 million one bedroom in Manhattan. This is like yeah. this is like every one bedroom in Manhattan, all, all of yeah. this one's Yeah, and this is over 1,900 square feet. You've got 13 foot ceilings. Does the building have amenities as well or no? There is a children's playroom, um, and then there's also a really awesome roof deck. Oh wow, you weren't kidding. We're only three floors higher, but... I mean, you can see the whole world up here. Wow. Are those the air conditioners for the building? Yeah. That's crazy. You see so much more of the river up here. We've got the bridge, got some boats going by in the river. There's that little cafe we saw earlier. It's still popping, that's good. I like this roof deck. It's got the essentials. It's nice and wide, nice and big. You can come up here, sunburn yourself if you want to. Kind of wraps around. Is it a 360? On this side, you can see downtown Brooklyn in that horribly ugly tower that someone put there. This is pretty sweet. How many bathrooms in this apartment? It's two and a half, so this is the half. This is the powder room. The, and the has, powder room? Yeah, check out the wallpaper. Wow. It's got Biggie on there. That's cool. Very Brooklyn. It even says Brooklyn if you buy this place and forget. And and the sink is shaped like a nice big bowl. Look at that. Water pressure's solid. I like the little twisty airplane propeller knobs. The mirror, absolutely no complaints. The little shelf space, too, very useful. Let's snoop around. Jamin, what's in here? Okay, it's washer Ooh, and dryer. Nice. Comes with light, too? Yeah. Look at that. You, you still have space to put all your detergents here. And all of your filters. Yeah. What's back here? 
Love. More stuff? More well, that's stuff. a great coat closet. Anything. I just like that they're Costco members. If you want a place like this and you're not a Costco member, maybe that's the first step to success. Is this oven brand new? It is brand new. Wow. Just installed a month ago. How much does one of these cost? A lot. It has twice as many burners on top of it as the hot plate in an NYU dorm. That's true. And look at the hood. This was like stolen from a restaurant or something. I don't think that's regulation size. Yeah, it might be. And how long did you say this counter was? Look at this. It's, it's 13 feet. Have you seen a kitchen this big in an apartment before? Never. Wow. I can't stop looking at it either, right? I like how these are juxtaposed. You can have a big party here and another one here. Yeah. Coffee table there, which is just as big. This is pretty sweet, though. I think it's the right move not to have too many stools. I mean, who's gonna feed eight people at a little um, kitchen breakfast counter? This is really, really nice storage. Is that new too? No, no there's stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> they used it. They used it. For fridge, you can fit a lot of food. Wow. In there, oh, that's awesome. Which they do. And it's not a knockoff Sub Zero because look, it has the date of installation, March 2023. Of course, we've got the double sink. Got the little sink sprayer right there. Lots of drawers. It has to be some sort of record for functionality in a New York kitchen. Look, you could climb up in there and live in the kitchen. You don't even have to leave. Jamin, what's up there? You're seven uh, feet tall. You can put lots of plates and, you know, um, an air fryer there if you're not using it. Jamin's a culinary wizard when no one's watching. When right. are you gonna start your cooking channel? Very soon. Um, my first cooking channel is gonna be pizza dumpling slash pasta. Ooh. Lauren, are these lights, did they come with the place? Are they holdovers from when this was a factory? Probably not. No, the seller put these in herself and they will come with the apartment. Could this be a dining room? What do you think? This is the office. Okay. It could be the third bedroom. And Ooh. you've got pocket doors here. Sweet. For privacy. I feel private. <laughs> Do I get to rub this magic lamp if I buy the place? Will a genie come out and help me pay for it? I mean, I hope so. Lauren knows I'm an idiot, but she's playing <laughs> along. She'd be great to buy a place from in New York. We're facing east right now, right? Yep, that's east. That's why I can't see anything other than the safety glass, which also makes me feel very safe. What size bed did you fit in here? It looks like it would fit a queen, right? You could definitely fit a queen. Closets are looking pretty good. Now this would be the smallest room in the place. It is, it's the smallest room, but it's still got great storage. Damon likes the artwork. I'm obsessed with it. Just horsing around. We have one horse over there, the <laughs> other one. You saw the other one over right there. Look at that one. Isn't There's a so lot of cute? horses here. We have one more, and that's the last one. These look comfortable. They are super comfy. And they so spin. Don't spin me too much. There's glass on that. I can't afford anything in this place. Baccarat. <laughs> the way this is laid out is perfect. You've got the gas fireplace over here, all the couches on this side, and then you have the cool chairs, and then you have where people eat, and then you have where people are cooking. You could hang out with everybody in one room. This is like Southeast Asian art. I hope if someone buys this place, we can negotiate and just come with it, right? Yeah, do they have a meaning? What are they holding? Something. They're holding blessings. Blessings. And this one has the cursings. I'm guessing that's why there's two? They're twins. They're twins. Oh, okay, cool. See the texture of this credence is like bamboo. Ooh. Woven. Whoa, yeah, that's cool. Nice. As someone who buys terribly constructed furniture on Wayfair, I've seen pictures of stuff like this, but it all turns out to be fake. The sitting area here is definitely one of like the standout features. We've got these four windows, direct view of the Empire State Building. You can see it over there in the corner. I mean, look at how awesome that is. Is this our first full bath? Yeah, you've got your bathtub, shower, marble sink. This is actually bad because if your place is this nice and you have this full size bath off the living room, your guests will see it and they'll know they can overstay their welcome. <laughs> Boom. There's your crazy uncle right there. And he won't leave. He's still here. Oh no. Lauren, what size bed is this? Is this a king? That is a king. And then we've got the eastward view and the city view. I can't believe that this is not the primary bedroom. In fact, this is the same size as a studio apartment with a kitchen over there, if you can imagine that and it's not the best room in the apartment. Look how bright this is. That TV feels tiny and it's not. Look at this chair. Oh man, that is just, I've never sat in a chair like this before. You just kind of sink in, you don't want to leave. And the closet space in here is absolutely, positively 
incredible. Do you know what I found in that closet? What did you find? I found out where I can get a loan <laughs> to help me get this place from you. Do you know you know how to open this? I wish I did. Okay, all right, well, it's locked. Oh, and look at that. You can enjoy the train going by out of the window without actually hearing it. For a comparison, this is how loud the train actually is if you're not inside. In fact, I don't hear much of anything in here. Nothing. It's quieter than the crowd on Jamin's last comedy set. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Excuse me. <laughs> There's more bathroom here than there is on entire websites dedicated to selling you bathroom stuff. Why is one sink different than the other? I'm not complaining. It's a style choice. If you're clean, you get that one. And if yeah. you're a slob, this one kind of helps keep it all off the counters. Here we have our shower. This is pretty good, actually. I don't feel like I'm trapped in like a tiny little space. I got all my soap right here on the wall. Although this looks a little bit too abrasive, I need something with a gentler touch. Also, I didn't notice this before, but look at like the nice ring of counter space that we have around this tub. Do you know what material that is, Jamin? Is that marble? I think it's marble. Is it quartz? Yeah. Marble slash quartz. It's marble. <laughs> I love how the storage is set up here. Very elegantly. Look at that, it's frosted so no one can see if you're messy or not. These people are very clean, but very if they weren't, clean. I wouldn't know. Yeah, it's a lot of storage space you can put on the 13 foot ceilings. Is this a bigger room than the other one? Are they the same size? I mean, the windows are just... It's actually the same size, but you have more windows and then the closet space. Water. Oh, look at Water that. Water is money, man. That could be you money with your jet shot. ski cruising around in the Hudson River. Like, it's the East River? It's the East River. Oh. Yeah, I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> We're in Williamsburg. Welcome. Guys, shout out to Lauren for letting us hang out in here. I didn't break anything. Didn't break anything. Which means, Thank God. which means maybe she'll have another place for us. Either way, make sure you follow her on Instagram if you want to buy this. And you can find out about Jamin's next comedy show on his Instagram. Laura, I have great news for you. I have someone who's interested in seeing this. Is this, this is really happening? This is really happening. It's really happening. Yeah. It's really happening. 